Hello everyone. Welcome to the algorithm series. In this section, we are going to discuss the Fibonacci series algorithm. The problem is that we are going to get a number from the user and print Fibonacci series numbers till the entered number. When the program is executed, it will ask for a number like this. It will display enter a number. For example, the user enters 100 here. It means that it should display the Fibonacci numbers less than 100. So in this case, the output will be like this. So it will go till 89. Let's try to find the solution for this program. The first question is, what is a Fibonacci series? A Fibonacci is a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of two preceding numbers. Here in this case, 0 and 1 are the beginning, then the next one is sum of 0 and 1. Then 2 is sum of previous two numbers that is 1 plus 1. 2. Once we have 2, that means the previous two numbers we have are 2 and 1. So the sum will be 2 plus 1, that is 3. Now we have a new value, that is 3, and of course the previous one is 2. So the sum will be 5. And this goes on until the limit we decide. Let's try to understand the solution using the pseudo code. Here we are taking a variable called limit where the user is going to enter the end limit for the series. We are also taking two values here that is a which is the first value 0 and the second b which will be 1. We are also taking one more variable which is the Fibonacci number we are going to store that is previous two numbers sum will be stored in this variable fn because we want to print 0 and 1 from the beginning here we are writing a logic where we are directly printing the value of a so the output will be 0 so here the output will be print a that means the 0 value is displayed now we are putting a loop where we decide that unless fn reaches limit it should keep on repeating a process the first thing we are doing here is we are printing value of fn so the output because we have initialized fn is equal to a plus b that is 0 plus 1 fn will have value 1 only so that will be the output so now the output is 0 1 the next thing is we need to change the value of fn because we are going to add previous two numbers so that is 0 plus 1 so fn we are writing a plus b so now fn's value is 1 again then we need to change the value of a we are assigning value of b here so a will have 1 now and b needs to have the newer value which is the sum of previous two values and that we have stored in a variable called fn so we are assigning b is equal to fn this means now a has value 1 and b also has 1 again it will go to print the value of fn which is still 1 so again the output will be 1 so print fn will print value that is 1 again. Now fn is equal to a plus b. Both a and b are 1 and 1. So that will be 2. So fn will have 2 now. Again we are changing the value of a by b. So a will have value 1 and b will have the newer value which is in fn that is 2. Now when we go to the print statement it is going to print value 2 here. Again, fn is equal to a plus b. 
that is a is 1 and b is 2 so fn will have 3 we are changing the value of a by b so a will have now 2 and b will have the value of fn that is 3 again it will go to print and it will print the value of fn that is 3 so now we have a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 so fn will have 5 in it again we are changing the previous values that is a and b both by changing the newer value of b and fn so fn has value 5 so that also gets printed on the screen this is how we repeat a process we try to add two preceding numbers to get the new Fibonacci series number now let's try to do the coding for the same thing first thing we are going to take a variable limit where we are going to get the input from the user of course we need to convert it into integer we are also taking variable a that is 0 and b equals to 1 the next thing we are taking the variable fn for the Fibonacci value and that we are keeping a plus b of course we display the value of a from the beginning there is also one more logic where a and b are displayed but there are different approaches to achieve the same thing now we are taking a loop here where the condition is that until fn is less than limit repeat this process the process where we are going to print the value of fn we'll say fn is equal to a plus b of course a is equal to b and b is equal to fn let's try to run this code and see what is the output as you can see now it's asking for a limit number so we enter 50 here that means it's going to display all the numbers which are under 50 so this will go till 34 let's try to run this code again and we enter the number 100 as you can see the output the Fibonacci series is repeated till value 89 so this is how we can achieve the Fibonacci series we can also use the recursive pattern to achieve the same thing that we will discuss in forthcoming videos.